Good morning, good morning. Okay, I wanted to kind of bring you in while I was trading, but um, I made this trade already. I was kind of moving kind of fast this morning. I just wanted to go over some of the trading moves that I'm making to re- replenish my account. All right, so basically, I'm holding this link long term. This one right here. And this one is... Um, I'm holding that one long term, but um, it went down a little. This one goes up and down. When it goes up like a hair like that, when it shoots up around here, um, I usually sell this one. But this one, I bought around this price right here. So you see I lost like 29% just holding it. Um, this is going to go back to where it was at some point. When it fills that gap, I'll make like 30% of my money back. In the meantime, I was thinking, let me take some of the losses, you know, some of that money out and let me, like, you know, grow my account back up. So in the meantime, while we're doing that, as you see, this morning we were at 62.69. The only reason why we're not there is because that was $124 in profit. And this went down and it's 162 of a loss. So it looks like I didn't make any money. <laughs> it just really shot up and came back down. Um, that's going to go back up to where it belongs. So we're not going to... Don't don't look at this the number that you see here, the 6182 from yesterday or whatever, because I mean, that's how much I had yesterday. Look at... don't like It's like, don't look at the scale when you're overweight and you're like trying to lose weight. And it keeps not looking like you're getting anywhere. Like, that's not, don't worry about that. Just follow the strategy. Just keep following your strategy. It's kind of like that. So with this, I bought Neptune. I felt like Neptune is going to go skyrocket. When you look at this chart, here you go. It's 18%. So I'm looking forward to come back over this way. Uh, At least above where it's at now at 420 i'm just looking forward to these get back up into the fives and that is just a 26 that's a that's like a 20 percent increase now i got 19 contracts right so by me having 19 contracts this is equivalent of 1900 shares and i wrote it down like i got a little diagram i wrote down so i can show you how much money um and leverage I'm I'm commanding with just this is only two hundred and forty seven dollars, right? So I only put up I'm only risking two hundred and forty seven dollars, but I bought nineteen contracts. Okay. And then Zynga, same way. Um two hundred and forty three two hundred and forty three dollars in contracts. It doesn't expire till like October eighteenth. Um, I paid 14 cents for these. It's down to 9 cents. That's fine. It was just up a little bit now. It looks like it wants to go down, but that's that's perfectly fine because um what we're gonna what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna buy some more of this. Cause this is where it's gonna go back up to. It's gonna go back up to around this price right here. And go look at the stock itself and you see that it really didn't move it actually went up a little so sometimes the option does that big giant drop thing and that's because someone sold and then there's not a lot of volume so when i go look at this i go look to see what the volume's doing like if i go to trade right now it'll show that there's only one person there's only one volume here but there's 3,200 other, 3, other holders. So what I'm going to do is, if I want to take full advantage of this, <laughs> I could, like, this is only 3%, 3.56%. So if I just want to grab some of these while it's down, just to, like, bring my average price down, which is what I really want to do, I'll just take out some of that money right there i'm fine with this because this is only a two cent difference so i'm going to sell just 300 
share to this so I can get some money to play with. And then I'm going to jump in right here, take full advantage of this being dipped down. See, my average is 14. I want to get down to 9 as much as possible. So I'm going to go right in here. And I'm going to promise to pay. I'm going to I'm going to see if I can pay 10 cent and then I want to spend up however many I got. Let's just do this for now. So there's no buyers, no other buyers. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> uh huh. Now, one thing I know for sure is if it's just a volume play and it's not really the real price, then it won't let the price, it won't let me get it. See? So because of that, I just shot it back up. It won't let me buy it at that price. You see how that worked? So it just shot back up. So when you go back and look, my, my price is back up. So don't panic, because sometimes it's like a low volume thing. And they're not dumb enough to let me buy that at nine, at nine, at nine cent, at nine cent. So sometimes when I used to get so nervous with, with, with options, I used to be like, oh no, you know, so I'm just gonna cancel that because I know that that wasn't gonna work. I was just trying to show you that if I tried to take advantage of it, it wouldn't let me. <laughs> Anyway, I just raised the price by just trying to buy it back and at that price and now it's back where it started. So with my ACB, which is my Aurora, I was looking at I was looking at this chart. I'm looking at the fact that look this thing is down twenty six percent as well. This is usually a seven dollar stock. I wanna I always wish that I had this when it was like lower, like down here. I wished for the long term, like when it was like doing this and it did that, when it was like $9 and $10, I wished I owned it. It's up here at $9, I wished I owned it. And you know, this was, let me see, this was uh, $5.71 around this price. But this is like the super bottom right here, right? And you know, um, so I always wished I had bought it around this range, like down here in the five. So to me, this is a steal at this price. It's like negative 17. And you look at this chart, it's like this thing is due to go back up now. Like it's been three months in the bottom. I don't know. I'm not scared anymore. I felt like I don't think I should be afraid of it. So I bought 20 contracts. It's going to look like it's starting to go back up here and starting to change the trend. Once the trend change, you're going to be riding it back up. That's why I bought it. So. When I go back and look, I got 11 contracts right there at, these don't expire to December in case I need more time for that to recover. And then I bought these so I can make a shorter term trade. These expire in October. And I'm like, it should be at least halfway recovered by the end so I can kind of cash in on these and still only put a $300 in there. That, that I'm only risking 300 with this. And then I'm only risking, well, I'm, I'm, I'm risking double with this because this is long term, so I can go longer with that. When you put the two together, I got 20, 20 contracts. So I'm going to show you uh, basically what I came up with. So here's how much leverage I'm using. With Neptune, I got 19 contracts, and that's about 1,900 shares at $4.20. So that's equivalent to 7980 bucks worth of shares and remember i only spent 250 bucks on neptune so i'm tying up seven thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars worth of shares for 250 bucks you know what i'm saying so if i had seven thousand nine hundred in the account i could have put all of that in i could have put all of that in the um, stock and then I would be risking my whole account for one trade and then if I'm wrong I'm going to be losing out of my uh, out of that with Zynga I got 27 contracts that's so worth it's about 2700 shares at $5.72 so it's like I'm holding $15,282 worth of shares but you saw with Zynga I was only holding about $250 worth of shares. 
And so that's how much stocks. It's as if I have 15,000 in my account and I dumped it all on Zynga. It's like I have 8,000 in my account and I'm dumping it all on Neptune. And with the Aurora Cannabis, it's like I got $11,360 and I dumped it all into that. And that I have that much time for it to go back up. So all I'm doing is trading as if I had the money. The option is letting me pretend I got way more money than I actually have. So altogether, I got $34,622 worth of shares, theoretically, in leverage, tied up. So if you get 5%, if I'm, I was showing you that those were like 20% down and 20. So just showing you what happens if, if I get 5% of this whole amount to work out, you're getting $1,731 in profit. But if I get 10%, which is half of what I was trying to recover back, you're looking at $3,462 in profit. Obviously, 20% would be uh, double that, you know. So you can just say uh, uh, just say 6900 or so. I don't feel like doing the math right now, but let's just say 6900 Um This would be the profit if we get the whole... You know, if I if 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 Aurora Cannabis goes all the way back up thirty percent, um, if um, and you know Zynga goes up ten ten percent, and then Neptune goes up twenty percent or something like that, then you're looking at like making almost you know seven thousand, and that's like you know a profit, you know profit. So so today, I mean, it looks like I'm. You know, not doing anything but then on this chart you can see that we're going to be on our way back going up in a minute it's starting to turn back up and especially since this right here doesn't really go any lower because this is already a 52 week low and the high for this one is eight dollars so i'm holding this for dear life like you would hold those cryptos because if this shoots up to like two dollars then my shares right now 5400 doubles if it goes to four dollars, then this quadruples turns into you know sixteen thousand dollars in profit, or you know sixteen thousand, and then I made twelve thousand in profit. So it's worth it to just hold that. I'll just leave that there, and I'll keep trading everything else. And when that returns, that's why I said at two bucks, I should be able to get back all the money I lost from Bitcoin and from. Um, this link by itself, you know, because I also lost 20% in this link. So I'm kind of like married to that right now. You don't want to marry stocks, but I'm marrying that one because I need my money back. I don't want to like trade my way up like that. All right. So what is this? Either this link shot back up or this is a, yeah, see. So that shot back up. So that, that kind of ate up some of that loss, put me back where I was supposed to be. So you, you're you able to see that I wasn't really down here in the first place. So I was trying to tell you, I was already there in the first place. So I'm only, I'm only um, down a little bit, but we made another hundred today. So from yesterday and today, made a hundred and forty yesterday. We're making about a hundred and we'll probably make like a hundred today. And then if you can keep this going uh, daily, the account is growing by a hundred to 200 a day. You know what I'm saying? So I'm making a hundred dollars a day, just moving money around. Oh, this one shot up. Look at that. But I bought it at 15. So instead of it just being at a loss, it's like a break even. And this don't expire to 1018. And I, I don't want to sell Neptune because like I said, I, I want to wait till this goes back up here. So I don't get excited just because it I don't want to get excited. But I'll be honest with you guys like. My rule is if this thing goes like to 16, 18, 19, something like that, 20, and there's actually a profit, usually I'll sell it, you know, because what happens is if I sell now, when it goes up high enough and then it dips back down, then I'll buy it in again and I'll just ride that way. So there's, I don't actually have to ride it all the way up 30%. I could just sell it when it's up 10%, take the money out or take, you know, and then when it drops back down again, buy it again. Because sometimes these fluctuate. So I just, you know, I just wanted to show you guys um, my option plays. I'm going to build this small account back up with my options. 
if I had been trading conservative like this in the first place, then I wouldn't have, um, I would never have lost the money in the first place. But I was just being cocky and being stupid, so I took a big 50% nosedive, and I got to earn it all back, and that's going to take a couple months or weeks, you know, depending on how this goes. So I'm back up. Look, see, I'm at $123 in profit today. Um, it's probably not going to stay there, but, I mean, if it does, that's awesome. But anyway, just wanted to put you guys up on deck with what I was doing. And now I got $253 that's not in this link that I could use to buy any other trade that's down right now. So if there's any other in my watch list that's doing pretty bad, I could grab it like this. Tesla, I could grab that and just make 1% or 2%. Um, and when it gets up to 231, I make 3% plus 260. So the 2 Two percent, two two point five eight percent plus three point seven nine percent is like six percent off of just a two hundred dollar trade. So I'll I'll buy that just because why not? Just uh, I don't even feel like doing limit loss. I'll just buy and hold it and resell it. It's just a a quick little small little trade. And I do little trades like that too. So we'll just hold on to this until it goes up to that. And, that's a quick 10 bucks or like four bucks or eight bucks or whatever and then we'll just sell that all right so anyway i hope you like this video i'm just trying to show you how i'm going to recover my account we go one trade at a time i know it's really early uh, because most of the plays that i do they happen early in the morning and then from there you're just like all set up for the rest of the day all right so um hope you like this video let me know what you think in the comments below Make sure you hit the like button and share this to anybody you know who wants to trade or want to grow their account. All right. Peace.